Hey everybody, Luna Moth here. So, um, I want to talk about the 188 day quake cycle. You can look it up um, and see what you will, believe what you will. Um, there is a theory that I think rings true to me um, that every 188 days there is um, a cycle of earthquakes on Earth. And you can kind of actually, it's like we're in a machine. Um, or the matrix, just going to put that out there. Anyway, you can kind of not predict, but you can follow the 188 day cycle and see what happens. Um, also, there are things called ley lines, which are basically like an energetic grid of the earth. Um, a lot of them line up with um, major like archaeological, archaeological and historical sites. Um, you can check those out too. It's L E Y L I N E S ley lines. Anyway, look that up. Um, take what you will, leave what you won't. Anyway, I want to talk about this because I've been wanting to make a video about this for a while. It has not been the right time. Now I know is the right time. Um, to me, what God and I know is, like, I know about the 188-day quake cycle. To me, 188 represents an earthquake. I have gotten confirmations of 188 before, before earthquakes. Um, usually it's on license plates. Um, so two days ago, I was in CVS drugstore. I walked in and... There's patio furniture for sale there, which is weird in CBS. Uh, there was two different sets. One's like a tall island thing, and the other one is a just a table and chairs. Each of them were $188.88. And I wasn't even looking at the patio furniture, but the signs were huge, like on top of them. And I noticed it, like, oh, God, 188 Okay, mental note. Okay, so... Then yesterday, I was looking at um, my phone when it shows text messages. Um, it will show you how many messages have gone between you and the person, like it keeps count. Um, I was looking at one with with a certain friend the other day, yesterday, and I noticed it was 188 messages. So it's those kinds of things, those kinds of things that happen. Sorry, I'm on my phone trying to find something for um, Okay. Then, all today, when today on my way to work, um, I saw a bunch of license plates of 188, 188, 188, 288, uh, 588, 788. Um, then, tonight, on my way home, um, so I got out of work at around 10 o'clock, then I um, went to the beach for a little while, or just like sat on a bench and I was just kind of like decompressing. And then I was driving home, and all of this happened within a matter of like mm, just a few minutes, honestly. So I was about to get in my car, I texted my friend about something, because her and I are working on something, and she was telling me, um, how she's doing moving into her new place. Anyway, so I'm driving and I notice <laughs> this on my my mileage counter. Let me find this. Do, 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 do. Turn it so you can see it. 788. Yes, I have a lot of miles on my car. And I'm going to show you the other one, the bottom one, just so you can see uh, the other little counter is at 9, 7 something. Um, so keep that in your mind. Uh, the top one says 788. Um, obviously it's backwards, but I looked up right when it said it. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, okay. Then I get a text message back from my friend. She's telling me about how she's moving into her new place, sends me a few pictures. I'm going to cover this so you guys can't see it. 
her number. Um, and then she's telling me how she's listening to a jazz station on the radio. 88.1. First of all, none of my friends even listen to the radio really anymore. Um, I mean, they do, but it's like Sirius XM or people listen to Spotify or stuff on their phones. So the fact that someone is texting me, telling me that they're listening to a jazz station that I didn't even know existed, honestly. And it is 88.1. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this person is also very intuitive, so we'll get back to that. Then, so that happened. Then I looked at my te text message. Yes, I looked at my text message while driving. I'm horrible. Um, it was actually at a stoplight. Makes it better. Still not good. Anyway. Then I looked up, and I saw a license plate that said 688. Right in front of me. I'm driving right past it. Like, all boom, boom, boom. These three things, all in a row. So at this point, I'm feeling very freaked out, honestly. I was just like, okay, what is this? Um... So about 20 minutes later, I <laughs> was looking up movie times because I thought about maybe going to a movie by myself before going home because a lot of times I have insomnia. It's hard for me to wind down after work. So I look up <laughs> movies to the closest stadium, which I'm going to block so that you guys can't see that. This is what I see. Uh, actually, it was from the 6, but it's the same exact thing. Okay, so it's America. Then it says, deliver us from evil. That's as big as it can get. I mean, that's as small as it can get on my phone. So those are like the two things that I saw on my phone. America, deliver us from evil. Um, this movie, America, is has an interesting description. Um, it says, America is great because she is good. If she ever ceases to be good, she will cease to be great. Today, that notion of the essential goodness of America is under attack, replaced by another story in which theft and plunder are seen as the defining features of American history. From theft of Native American and Mexican lands and the exploitation of African labor to a contemporary foreign policy said to be based on stealing oil and a capitalist system that robs people of their fair share. Our founding fathers warned us that although the freedoms they gave us were hard fought, they could very easily be lost. America stands at a crossroads, and the way we understand our past will determine our future. America the movie takes 21st century Americans into the future by first visiting our past. Um, so I thought that was interesting, yet another America confirmation. Um, and then let me show you the very last photo. Um, so I looked that up. Yes, while driving. If any cops are watching this, you don't know who I am. And then the bottom gauge on my... Um, I looked up for a split second, the bottom gauge on my car read 788. I caught it actually afterwards. I couldn't, I couldn't, I was driving, I couldn't take a picture while I was driving, so I waited till I stopped. So this one is at 791, but it was at 788 when I saw it. Um, so there is that. So to me, another number, larger number in front of 88 is usually either the magnitude of the earthquake, which 788 is pretty large, like like a 6 or 7 magnitude is pretty large. It could do some damage. Um, or it's like an earthquake swarm, or like, a num like the number of earthquakes. Um, but the amount that I got, 188, this today was just... I've never been infiltrated in such a way where it was not just on license plates. Um, in my text messages, in my phone, on my car, um, it, I, some, I, I'm getting a message. So um, I also texted that person back that sent me the 
when he, uh, the thing about the jazz station, and I just told her, I said, um, do you have waters and stuff instead of an earthquake? Uh, sorry, in case of an earthquake. I said, I've had a weird feeling this week. And she said, man, I hate to agree with you on that one, but doesn't it just feel like the big one's coming? Um, this person is also very intuitive and gets visions and stuff like that, too. It's kind of how we found each other. Um, anyway, I'm not trying to scare anyone, but something is coming. Um, we need to be aware of earthquakes. We need to be aware of the cycle, and we need to prepare however, whatever that means for you, um, please do so. Um, I just, I've never had that much synchronicity as far as earthquakes involved. So, something is there, something is coming. I don't have a timeline, I cannot tell you when. Um, but it's there. So beware of 188.